Marlin ISD has become the first school district in Central Texas to mandate face masks three weeks into the school year. Our Bailey Bates is live in studio tonight with how parents are feeling about this mask requirement. Bailey. Leslie, the parents I did talk to tell me they are happy about the mask mandate and it is quote the best thing Marlin could have done and quote they see it as the district putting health as a priority. Marlin Independent School District is sending a message across Central Texas. If it's going to say anything, I think that it says that we are trying to keep our kids safe, which is really important, I think, and ev that everyone should want. The first school district in our area to require a mask. Gabriela Becerra has a daughter in kindergarten and one in seventh grade. I'm actually really comfortable with it. She believes it's a common feeling with parents. I haven't really heard anything as far as the parents being opposed to it. Only two weeks into school, Marlin ISD Superintendent Dr. Daryl Henson says there have already been some scares. The first two weeks of school, we strongly encouraged masks. But at Marlin High School, we've had nine cases in nine days. Being a smaller district, they worry about what could happen if they had a large outbreak. Marlin being a smaller community, about 25 miles outside of Waco, it was important that we protect the entire community, knowing that a lot of our staff members and our students, they are family. They are family friends. The district is hopeful the mask and other protocols under its enhanced COVID-19 mitigation will give them a security blanket, but it will only be successful if people follow it. And with no major consequences for not wearing a mask, it's up in the air. So for students who are not going to follow the mask mandate, we're going to overly encourage them to still cover their face. It's all about health. We're not trying to be punitive, but the important thing is the health and well-being of our students, faculty, and their families. Dr. Henson says the district is watching data day to day, week to week. If they feel they can lift the enhanced COVID-19 mitigation, they will do so. But as of now, there is no time limit for their current protocols. Guys.